These are not clipless pedals, are, are they clipless? These are called, uh, you're saying it's a... Uh, uh, these are matte pad road pedals. Well, they are clipless in a way, but the mechanism is a little bit different. They work via magnetic force. So, there's a, there's a magnet mm. on the pedal, mm. and there's also a magnet on my the shoe. Clip, right? mm. Okay. Right, so uh, it works with any tree, tree, tree hole uh, cycling shoes. Uh, welcome back to another video guys. Today I'm here with uh, Leah and she has a Bianchi Aria uh, 2018, right? Yep, that's right. Um, Leah, thank you so much for coming over to my show and uh, in my legendary upper Boon King rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. Uh, can you just tell us uh, more about yourself and uh, how did you get into cycling? Because I heard you've just picked up cycling uh, about a year ago. Yeah, so uh, I'm a COVID cyclist, <laughs> right? I started off with a foldable bike, I think sometime in later part of 2020 then uh, started off with i mean as usual a pcn rider etc then yeah then i mean with a group of friends then we decided um you know we were exploring the idea of upgrading to a, a, a road bike and back then i guess um you know there were a lot of during that period of time there were a lot of like you see a lot of bicycles on the road so bianchi caught my eye yeah i uh, saw it out near my house outside and then, yeah, so definitely the colour, right? The Celeste yeah. colour. <laughs> yeah, the Celeste, classic Celeste colour. So yeah. it kind of, um, you know, attracted, uh, attracted, yeah, uh, got my attention. So when I started looking for a bike, uh, at that time, I think a lot of the bike shops, they didn't have any uh, ready stock. So they had to put me on the waiting list and all. Uh, yeah, so I sourced for other... Um, you know, uh, uh, other suppliers, and I got this actually uh, through Parallel Importer. Mm. Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah. Um, so you said you are a PCN cyclist, and then yeah. you got into road cycling. Yeah. Uh, what's the reason for that? Is it because uh, most of your friends were on road bikes, and then you wanted to like you know go faster around right, the roads? Yeah. Um, I guess I like the look <laughs> of a road bike, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, and and I wanted to you know just give it a try. Like given that uh, you know the roads were still pretty empty at mm. that time, mm. uh, yeah. So right. yeah. do you do you have like a budget in mind, or do you know how expensive cycling can cost? Yes, yes. <laughs> so now I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So initially, I mean, I, I I knew that some guy some bikes to could go to the ranges of like 15, 20k, but I, you know, I wasn't sure whether I was gonna stick with you know uh, the sport for a long time. So I, 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 the budget I gave myself was around like 3k plus, mm. yeah, okay. which, which this bike actually fit in. Okay, yeah. so more about the bike, uh, parallel imported bike, how do you get it parallel imported? It's actually through like a WhatsApp group, okay. like, a, like a group chat. Yeah. So there's no physical like storefront mm. that, yeah, that we can go to. So it's really, you know, there's some element of trust yeah. <laughs> and word of mouth there. Uh, yeah, so thankfully, I mean, uh, it came, uh, you know, I think it took about like three weeks or so mm. um, from paying the deposit to getting the bike. Mm. Uh, came, like, yeah, so, so it came with everything. Uh, the frame, the saddle, handlebars and, and wheels. But the wheels, I, I switched it out. It was originally DT Swiss aluminum wheels and I switched it out to uh, my current Campy's uh, Bora Ultra 2. These yeah. are really nice wheels. Thank you. Um, so, um, sorry, I, I have to ask this question because last night I was just talking to my fiance and I was just explaining to her what is a Shimano group set and how many peers are there in mechanical and DI2. Right. Um, how, how do you even get to know all this? Do you, I'm assuming you had a cycling friend who kind of guided you along the way, like, okay, this is what you should get within this budget range. Is that something that happened? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, that time, uh, I, I had a... I mean, I have a friend who's really into cycling, so I'll get his advice. And he brought me to, you know, some of the bike shops to try the fitting and all. Yeah, so definitely uh, having friends who, who, you know, who, who, who knows their stuff definitely helps. And um, yeah, so, so the trick, I, I, guess the, I guess for me at that time, it was trying to balance the budget and also, you know, what, what suits. Uh, my frame, my size, and yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, so what is the total cost of this bike right now? Uh, okay, so when I... Uh, it was 3.7k when I got it parallel imported. 
and plus the wheels, I, I paid about 1.1k for the wheels. Mm. So all in all, I guess it's, it's about like 5k or so. That's pretty yeah. decent. Yeah, uh, I think it's, it's okay. Right, yeah. so what is your height and the frame size? And this is not a female specific size, right? Not that I know of, yeah. but I, I know of uh, many females riding this uh, okay. area. Okay. So um, I'm 160 cm and this bike is uh, 44 cm frame size. Mm. Yeah. And you, this is the old Altegra, it's uh, in mechanical. Uh, yeah, it came with the bike. Right. Yeah. And uh, Bo Bora Ultra too, which you've uh, already mentioned. So right. why did you get this wheel set? Because you said you, you, you upgraded, right? Yeah, so the... Um, I... I mean, I, I felt that the aluminum wheel sets were, were not as smooth, mm. right? Uh, and, you know, some of my friends were actually upgrading their wheel sets. So I, I, I thought, uh, yeah, I'll just have a look. And one of my friends were actually, was, help, was actually helping me to keep a lookout on Carousel. And uh, yeah, so we came across this um, Campy's uh, Bora Ultra 2. Mm. Yeah, it's, uh. it's tubular by the way, so. Oh, tubular. Yeah, yeah. So one of the old, older models. Right, I've, I've yeah. never seen these tires before. These are the Continental Sprinter. Sprinters, yeah. Uh, there's no tread at all. <laughs> Do you find it slippery or it's, it's okay? No, it's fine, yeah. Um, I mean, just, just take note to do a bit of intermittent braking when it's raining. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah. Because it's, it's still on rim brakes, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Will you be upgrading to disc anytime soon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, not sure. It's serving me well uh, at the moment. Mm. Um, yeah, so yeah, let's, let's, let's see. Yeah, and you have very cool bar tape, very sparkly. Yeah, Which one are these? <laughs> which, which model this is, is this? Uh, this is from the BTB bar tape people. Mm. I got it at the bike settlement, right? Um, they have a couple, I mean, they, they have a few colors, so uh, I chose the pink one uh, for contrast, right? I mean, it doesn't strike you offhand as being very like matching with the Celeste color, but <laughs> you know, yeah. there are a lot of Bianchis out there with like black, black bar tape. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so that's, I wanted to try something different. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it looks yeah. Very, very pretty, very uh, feminine uh, kind yeah, of color. <laughs> yeah, very feminine. It's like one look at it and then you know, like, yeah, this is a girl's bike. Yeah. <laughs> Does the sparkle get stuck onto your palms? No, surprisingly, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was, yeah, I was a little bit worried about that, but no, it's okay. pretty good. Yeah. Um, you were telling me these are, because I remember when you sent me the photo of your bike right. or the Instagram questions, you were on flat pedals. Mm. Uh, these are not clipless pedals, are, are they clipless? These are called, uh, what you're saying it's a... Uh, uh, these are mat pad road pedals. Well, they are clipless in a way, but the mechanism is a little bit different. They work via magnetic force. So, there's a, there's a magnet mm. on the pedal, mm. and there's also a magnet on my the shoe. Clip, right? Mm, okay. Right, so uh, it works with any tree, tree, tree hole uh, cycling shoes. So you just need to attach the, the yeah, just, just the attach clitch, it right? and then, yeah. Okay. Um, so the reason I got these was because, I mean, I was, I was considering transitioning to clipless, but, you know, I was, I was also a little bit scared. Lah. I mean, bring a new cyclist and mm. all, like, you know, what's the risk of injuries and all. Mm. Um, then my mechanic uh, at, at the bike settlement, he actually uh, recommended these pedals. Uh, he said like some of his friends tried it and, and, and thought it was pretty good. Uh, so I, yeah, so I, so I went, yeah, I got it online. Mm. Uh, they have the mountain bike version as well, mm. right? So I, I, I got the uh, road pedals. Mm. I think they weighed in about 270 grams. Yeah, it looks yeah. pretty heavy, but I mean, it yeah. probably helps you to transition over to clips. Yep, it does. So uh, the mechanism, yeah. like to 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 uncleat, it's um, the movement is, is similar, mm. but I would imagine like it's slightly easier. Mm. There's an amount of float that you can adjust on the pedal as well. So mm. it's yeah. Because it's uh, magnetic, right? And the way right. you unclip is like a road bike. So you got to twist your ankle, yes, your feet. Yes. Um, let's say if you're in an emergency and you panic, can you just like force it, remove? Is it easy to come out? Um, theoretically, it is. Theoretically, yeah. Mm. So uh, there's different forces of magnet that you can choose according to your body weight. Yeah. Mm, okay, very cool. I've never seen this, so I probably might, might <laughs> yeah. recommend this to some of my friends or anyone who's, who's new to cycling, right? Yeah, so it's good for, for someone who's transitioning. Yeah, okay. So how is this frame Bianchi area? Um, like you said, you, you got this because of the color, then that's how you knew Bianchi. Were there other frames that you were looking at or other brands? Um, I... Well, I was pretty much <laughs> on Bianchi, okay. to be honest. Um, yeah, so the frame, I mean, it's stiff, it's carbon, serves me well. Um, frame size 44 is not easy to get. Mm. 
um, yeah. What do you? I know it's a bit of a tough question, but yeah. uh, hard to say now. But what would you uh, want to upgrade, or what would you not like? Do you not like about this bike? Uh, well, I think the next item I'll change is probably the saddle because yeah. these were stock, and I'm not sure how new they are. They are the Marco's um, saddles. Mm. And it's, it's pretty soft actually. The reason why I kept it was because it's soft and it's comfortable. Mm. Um, yeah, but the next, the next saddle I'll probably try would be the uh, specialized uh, wom woman's mimic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Have yeah. you tried it? Or? I tried it at the store once. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, it feels good, it feels comfortable. Yeah. yeah. I was I was yeah. expecting you to say the 3D printed one, the the power mirror. There is. <laughs> uh, okay. they, they they have 3D oh, printed uh, okay. saddles which uh, are very comfortable pricey. apparently, but it's very pricey. <laughs> I don't know if they have huh? the, the the 3D one for your uh, mimic. And so mimic is a specific a female specific saddle or? Yeah, it's a female specific. So it's short fit, mm. right? Um, yeah, so which yeah I'll definitely go for. Right. Yeah. Uh, planning to get a, a power meter anytime soon. Mm, <laughs> maybe I yeah I, I don't know I'm, u I'm just using Strava in my right. source computer for yeah. now okay so we move on to the Instagram questions you guys have you guys have submitted some questions on Instagram so uh, Leah a, a few people have questions on your bike uh, let me start off with the first question it's actually from me as a female cyclist how is it like in a predominantly male sport. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, th there are actually like a few female cyclists in my usual regular like Saturday group. Uh, so we'll, uh, you know, we it's a big group, so we'll, we'll split it up. You know, as per COVID uh, regulations, right? So usually I ride with the uh, with the girls. Uh, but you know, like if if there there are guys in the group, there are, I mean. Uh, you know, I've, I've cycled with guys in the group before and they're very patient, mm. you know, they're uh, quite lucky to have met like, you know, people who are willing to guide and, and, and uh, you know, willing to keep a lookout for each other in the group, mm. right? Uh, and yeah, so uh, my experience has been, um, yeah, it's been good. Sometimes like, it's the first time you're meeting some of the cyclists that you're, you're cycling together with, but everyone's very patient mm. uh, with each other. Okay. And, yeah, and, and, and I mean, I mean, we also have fun at of it, right? I mean, we go for like breakfast or <laughs> coffee. That's what everyone is looking forward to, <laughs> yeah. right? Not, not the yeah. ride, but the breakfast. <laughs> it's, yeah, you know, cycle first to get the license to eat after that. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, mm. uh, where, where do you guys normally ride? Anywhere. So we'll meet in town. Uh, we could go up to, to uh, like Pongol or Mandai. Mm or um, the east or like Jurong Hill mm. so it could be any Have you considered a shorter crank because this one is pretty long I think it's yeah. the stock of 172.5 Yeah, it's stock mm. uh, Yeah, it could be I, might, I actually haven't gone for a bike fit yet mm. so um, yeah, so, so I mean I'm open to su suggestions uh. but, but this yeah. is the uh, fit that's already ideal for you and you're comfortable on the bike or is there something yeah. that you would like to change in terms of like mm. the reach? So recently, I actually changed the stem length from uh, 70 to 90. Mm. Yeah, 70 is rather short actually. Because when I first started, I, it, it, my shoulders hurt a little when I, when I try to bend forward. So, mm. yeah. So, so I mean that's. Uh, but after a while, when I got used to the posture, I felt that you know I wanted better control of the bike, mm. which I think a longer stem length can, yeah, can provide. Right. So it's been. Yeah, it's been good. I mean, since I, I've changed to, to 90 yeah. mm. Yeah. And, and you're very lucky when you bought this trim because it's, uh, I'm yeah. assuming it's second hand, right? Are you yeah. second hand or is it new? Second hand? Uh, they told me it's a new frame. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, because the uh, stack is very high. So some, if, mm. you, if you happen to buy a second hand bike, the previous uh, owner would have cut the whole thing. Yeah, so this is something that you need to consider is the steerer tube length. Mm. Um, because uh, some riders can be like me, for example, I've already cut it all the way. So right. if I were to sell it again, the guy who wants to adjust the fit can't go any higher because he already okay. cut it all the way. Right. But okay, so luckily, okay. I mean, this is new, so yeah. you can still play around with this. Yeah. Something to consider if you, you, know, you want to buy a second-hand bike. So the comment is uh, the triangle of this frame is very small mm. because you mentioned it's a 44. That's right. Is it difficult to take out your water bottles? Yeah, so initially I was using a longer one, but... Um, it's a little bit difficult to take out, you're right. Mm. Very observant viewers. 
<laughs> I know some some of my viewers ask questions which I never expected. Like sometimes my my photos are so blurry, but they can pick out the the tiny yeah. details. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so that's right. So yeah, that was a constraint I faced. Mm. Uh, I've since changed to a shorter bottle. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, so actually, I think there are some bottles which are magnetic and you can kind of pull it out from the side mm. so you don't have to push it up because like mm. the, the, the viewer right. mentioned that the top tube is very short. Yeah. Right? So, so you, mm. this one is actually from the side. Um, yeah, oh, the okay. Arundel oh, one. Yeah. So, Do you uh, purposely buy that bottle cage so you could pull it from the side? Or uh, you came in the bike? Yeah, my, I mean, my, one of, one of uh, my friends that I cycle with, he, he advised me to get one more just in case. Usually, I'll just bring one bottle uh, it's, it's enough right then if, if not then i'll just refill at the petrol station or something. <laughs> yeah in singapore you know huh? there's petrol station every 500 meters yeah, right thankfully. so no no point you know bringing so many bottles of water do you have a hard time finding the right size bike as a female rider uh yeah actually i did and during that time when i was looking you know searching for a bike i think that was the crunch time where supply was for De demand like a uh, sort of exceeded supply and, and yeah people were you know like like bikes were selling like hotcakes on carousel mm, mm. <laughs> uh, so it was definitely difficult like finding a 44 cm uh, uh, frame size in in the brand and color that I want mm. and the model as well so mm. no brainer la. I didn't I didn't take too long to to, to say yeah to, to, to yeah, to yeah. Say yes Will you yeah. ever consider buying like a fifteen to twenty thousand dollar bike? Well, I'm not okay. If I'm really, you know, if I'm a really seasoned cyclist. Maybe yeah, that maybe will yeah, 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 yeah. But for now, maybe not yet. Last question for you, or more of you giving advice to my audience who are newbie cyclists or females who want to get into the sport. What is your advice to them? Cycle with friends who who are of similar or slightly better you know uh, uh, more seasoned than you so that you can continue improving right uh, and uh, yeah try to build up I mean do the easy routes first I mean you can do the Tanamera coastal road uh, that's that's good for you know that's, that's initially like that that was how I trained up as well then uh, of course yeah then you have you gotta try and do some climbs lah. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, uh yeah go ahead yeah so uh mix it up like yeah try 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 to mix up the route so that you don't feel um yeah you, there's there's still like sense of like <laughs> Adventure or sense, yeah, just, wow. just something new. I, yeah. I'm a very boring person then because I only ride TMCR oh. every day. <laughs> but but I have to mm -hmm. agree that uh, for new cyclists, TMCR yeah. is the best place because yeah. there's a dedicated cycling lane and yep. it's a straight Safer. road, right? It's a and straight road. Yeah, not many traffic lights. And stuff yeah, like that. not many traffic lights and yeah, like I, I like it that there's a dedicated cycling lane. Uh, mm. Yeah, for yeah for people who are starting out, you know, cycling on the roads, I understand it can be a little bit daunting especially when you know the the, the car the vehicles come too close to you um yeah so so start off with uh, uh tmcr first do you find that a problem mm. here in singapore that or when you mm. first started cycling were you afraid of cars coming very close to you definitely yeah so cycling in groups help right i think there's safety in numbers definitely uh and and people who are more seasoned so they can help to signal uh at the back and and at the front just just to you know, to, to help the newbies um, <coughs> uh, mm. uh, keep a lookout of, of yeah, mm. or, or, or warn them. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I'm a driver and a cyclist at the same time. So, yeah. you know, I understand the frustrations on both sides. Yeah. Uh, when I drive, yeah, usually I'll, I'll try to give way, give, give more space to the cyclist la, so that, you know, you don't intimidate or... or intimidate them. I think okay. that's, that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, thanks for having no, me. No, thank you so much for coming out, Leah, because uh, second female on my channel and like you said, just now we're talking off camera, I asked you if you have any more female cyclists to be <laughs> featured on my channel. So hopefully after I release your video and uh, more people or more females who are, you know, keen to share about their story, then will come on my channel. So uh, that is the end of the video, guys. If you guys want to feature your bike on my channel, just DM me on Instagram, follow me there, and I'm also on Discord. Uh, Leah, thank you so much again for coming. Uh, ride safe and see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. <laughs>